So the following question asks us to determine the diameter of a tungsten filament in a light bulb. They give us the values for the resistance, the length of the filament, and the resistivity. Now if you watch the video on resistivity and its relationship to resistance, we know that resistivity is a constant that is given to every individual material. Like tungsten will have a resistivity, copper will have a resistivity, even wax paper will have a resistivity. And it will be very high because wax paper is not a good conductor. So good conductors will have a low resistivity and bad conductors will have a very high resistivity. So the equation here at the top of the page is the resistance is equal to the resistivity times the length over the area. And we should know that this is the cross-sectional area shown right here as pi r squared. The question is asking us to solve for the diameter, which means that after we solve for the radius, we're going to have to chop it in two. Sorry, we're going to have to multiply by two to get the diameter. So, and then we have a picture here of the tungsten wire. Okay, and this is the wire where the, um, we were determining the resistance of it. Okay, and it's actually the, the, the light bulb wire stretched out. So let's go ahead and put our values in here and see what we get for an answer. 5.6 e to the negative eighth. And then we know that the length they give us was in centimeters. And it's a good exercise to be very comfortable uh, going from centimeters to meters. And if you need help doing that, you can go ahead and take a look at the dimensional analysis video. But in this case, I have it right now for you here as uh, 2.17 e to the negative 2 meters. So we'll put that value in here in the numerator. 2.17 e to the negative 2. And on the bottom, we'll go ahead and put the values in of pi r squared. And then the resistance value that they give us is 0 0.393. 0 0.393. It's going to take a little bit rearranging. What I like to do is get what we're interested in over to the other side so we can get it all by itself and kind of swap it over for what's on this side. So let's go ahead and write that out. We have r squared because that's what we're going to want to solve for, is equal to 5.6 e to the negative eighth times 2.17 e to the negative 2 all over pi. And then this 0.393 came down to the other side. So that's going to be, since in the top of one side, it's going to be on the bottom of the other side. So let's go ahead and put that in the bottom over here. And then to get rid of the squared, we're going to have to take the square root of both sides. And that'll get rid of the r squared. So let's go ahead and put this into our calculators. Take a second, maybe pause the video and see if you can get the same answer as I'm going to get. So after we go ahead and solve this question now, we get the radius equal to 3.137 e to the negative fifth. We multiply by 2, which is going to give it the diameter, which is 6.27 e to the negative fifth meters.